and this is every 13 minutes. Somewhere, this moment, there's a 16-year-old girl with tired eyes and a blank stare. A 16-year-old girl that hears only the words that echo through her mind, rhythmic, like a metronome. Back, fake, freak. Somewhere, this moment, there's a 37-year-old veteran with a weighted heart and broken soul. A 37-year-old vet that sees only the image of his best friend's smile that faded with his heartbeat and with the color of his bright blue eyes. Somewhere this moment, there's a 17-year-old boy with weak knees and drooping shoulders. A gay 17-year-old boy that feels only the fear that comes with bearing parental discontent over what's between the legs of his lover. To them, the body means more than the soul. The words, the images, and the fear become too much to bear, and soon they can't seem to find a reason to care anymore. The body becomes sore and the mind follows suit until they fold their cards, despite having the potential of pocket aces. Until they end it all by their own hands. Three laughs never to be heard again, three bodies never to be felt again, three lives just ended because they looked up at the sky and said, if I die today, the sun will rise tomorrow, the birds will still sing, the grass will still grow, and the universe will go on unchanged. And while these people, these lives, may just be words on a page or sounds in the air, every 13 minutes, someone else can no longer find a reason to care. That is 42,773 people who lost their lives to suicide last year. That is 14 of the 9-11 terrorist attacks, 329 of the terrorist attacks on the city of Paris, and that is 1,645 Sandy Hook school shootings. That's that girl Sally who lives next door, who you've had a crush on since the third grade, but became really insecure in high school. That's that boy Mark who was so excited for college, but bit off way more than he could chew and is suffocating under unrealistic expectations. And that's that young mother Martha who picks up every shift at the diner she can just to feed her baby boy when she can't figure out how to make it to the end of the month. We say we don't see the signs and act so surprised, but the truth as cold and dead as the bodies in the ground is this is something we can stop. Harboring maggots made from ignorance, our apathy is the breeding ground for these insects, and our lack of responsibility for what happens is the grave we dig for the bodies that become the earth, which holds them as closely as we wish we still could. These are people we can save.